we can't breathe underwater. So, how do fish do it? Come along with Curious George and let's find out. <laughs> to understand how fish breathe, first we have to understand how humans and monkeys breathe. The air around us is made up of particles called molecules that are so tiny they are invisible to our eyes. There are a bunch of different kinds of molecules in the air, but the one our body needs to breathe is called oxygen. When a human or monkey breathes in, all the air goes into our lungs. Then our lungs absorb the oxygen molecules in the air. Next, the oxygen goes from our lungs into our blood so it can flow around our whole body. But fish don't have lungs like we do so they can't breathe air. No wonder they don't like being pulled out of the water. Have you ever noticed the little slits on the side of a fish's head? Those are called gills. They are like the fish's lungs. The fish takes water in through its mouth and then pushes the water out through its gills. There are lots of tiny little blood vessels in the fish's gills. When the water is being pushed out of the gills, the oxygen molecules get absorbed by those little blood vessels. Then, the oxygen molecules flow around the fish's body in its bloodstream, just like us. All fish have gills, from the tiniest goldfish to the longest eel to the biggest shark. Now you know why fish can stay underwater for so long without ever running out of air. They don't need air like humans or monkeys do. Make sure to check out episodes of your favorite little monkey friend, Curious George. Always on Peacock Kids.